Hey guys, this is the Apple Pie Dev Team, and in our first video, we are going to show you how to jailbreak and or unlock your iPhone or iPod Touch with the iPhone Dev Team's Pwnage tool. Okay, so first what you need to do is download the Pwnage tool, and we'll give you a link to the blog, to the um, Dev Team's blog where you can download it. And I already have it open, so first what you want to do is you want to click on Expert Mode, and then you select your device. You can jailbreak and unlock an iPhone. You can jailbreak an iPod Touch. And so far, you can only jailbreak the iPhone 3G because the baseband has not been unlocked yet. Okay, so we're going to select the iPod Touch. And we're going to click the next arrow. Okay, so at this stage, what it does is it automatically browses for your IPSWs. And... This may take a while, depending on how many IPSWs you have, and you can't browse for done auto searching, so we're just going to wait for all of them to come up. Here goes the first one, 2.0.1. We are just waiting on 2.0 and 2.0.2. Oh, and we forgot to mention, um, you need to download the IPSWs from the internet, so we'll just put a link in the description for, for where you can download the IPSWs for the iPhone and iPod Touch. There's 2.0, we're now waiting for 2.0.2. Okay, and here's the firmware 2.0.2. So we're going to select that since it's the newest firmware and click the next arrow. Okay, these are all the settings for it. And I'm going to start out with general. Click the next arrow. And this is where you can make your root partition size bigger or smaller depending on how many apps you would like to download from City and the installer. So I like to keep it at 500 megabytes since that's the preset. This is boot neuter settings. This is for um, the iPhone. So we're just going to continue through that. This is just city settings. Um, this is a place where you can download packages before you put it on your iPod. These are the custom package settings. If you don't want to install one of the installers like Cydia or the installer, you can uncheck them. And, oops, and this is custom logos, and what this is is the recovery logo, which I really don't like, so I'm just going to uncheck that, and I like the boot logo, the little pineapple, so I'm going to keep that. Then you just select build, and you click next. Okay, you choose where to save it. And I'm just going to save it to my desktop. And this process takes a very long time, so I'm just going to cut the video. So, okay. Okay, once Pwnage Tool has completed creating the IPSW, um, you will be brought to a screen that says I has completed, and a little window will pop up saying... Um, have you jailbroken your iPod or have you seen the pineapple logo before? If, you know, if you've jailbroken your iPod using this method, click yes. But if you've never even seen this before, like having jailbroken with Pwnage Tool, then click no. And then it'll show you how to put it in DFU mode. We're not going to do this because we have already jailbroken our iPod Touches. 
but we will make a um, video later that shows you how to put your phone or uh, iPod Touch in DFU mode and re shift restore using the custom IPSW file that you created with Ponish tool. Okay, so this is the end of our video. Thanks for watching, and there will be more videos to come. Please subscribe.